Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to make a little tip video. So I bought this club car precedent uh, for going camping and the guy who had it, it's all completely original. It's a 2014, I believe, 48 volt model. And I wanted to add some 12 volt accessories to it. So I just added this light bar. And with it being 48 volts, you have to run a converter to get 12 volts. And there's a channel on YouTube called Fentertainment and he has a series on this car. And I use, and very similar, um, there's a 40 to 12 volt converter that he uses and I mounted it like he did. Um, the only difference is in his video, he mounts the fuse and everything underneath uh, behind the dash, but he recommended some newer parts. So you have to run pretty much everything else back here and it can be a little, it's, it's a lot of wire. So make sure you do buy like a big spool of wire because it's expensive at Walmart buying those little spools. So this is the uh, fuse panel right here that we use. And um, so the first thing that he really didn't put in his video was wiring up to the batteries. So um, you actually have to go off the first and the last battery. So the harness itself has four wires. There's gonna be, your first is your yellow wire, which is power, which is going to be the positive of your first battery. That's gonna to go to the yellow. Next is going to be ground, which is actually grounded here on the fuse block, which is then grounded to the last battery negative terminal. So that's essentially grounded there. So that gives you the 48 volts, because if you put it on one battery, you only get eight volts, it doesn't work. Um, next is their red wire, which runs to the back, which provides the 12 volt power, and that's what goes in the positive side of this fuse block. So then, once you put a fuse in here, in any of these uh, outputs, all you gotta do is put ground and your positive, and you'll get 12 volts. And then the last thing, last wire for that harness is the accessory when you turn the ignition on. That's a blue wire, I believe. Uh, you just tap into it. So, um, and then, you know, there's a lot of wire gonna run. I'm gonna recommend you pick up some loom too. So I uh, try to loom everything up as good as I could. Um, and you know, I'll tidy everything up as I go, but for now it's good. I've been working on it all day. Been under this thing. Ugh. So anyway, so now we got, um, you see here, put this on, boom. Look at that, we got, we have light. So um, next I'm gonna probably put on a sound bar up here and uh, probably maybe some neon lights or something something tacky like that but um i just hope maybe showing my setup if anybody found this video maybe you were just a little nervous about some stuff like i wasn't sure about the battery thing so yes and it will spark and it will scare the crap out of you <laughs> if you're not ready for it so that's normal um so if you have any questions about the install feel free to leave a comment and i will possibly answer it I not, do not know much about electronics. <laughs> this was kind of dumb luck, it almost feels like. But um, maybe I'll make a video later when I update this. I am going to do the tires and the lift, if it will fit my toy hauler lifted. Um, and there's also a motor. You can, you can replace the electric motor. It's not that expensive, and the thing really rips. If this goes about 11, 12 miles an hour, which is fine around the campground. Um, and that's about it. So if you have any, um, other ideas of what you've been doing to your club cars, um, just let me know, uh, any tips for the future or any part recommendations, I'd appreciate it. Thanks.